on the 24th of December 1957 in a broadcast to the nation, Osage for Dr. Kwame Kroma said, We shall measure our progress by the improvement in health of our people, by the number of children in school, and by the quality of the education. The welfare of the people is our chief pride, and it is by this that my government will ask to be judged. Almost six decades later, the nation is still working towards the educational aspirations of our founding father with an increase in population and a corresponding demand for access to quality education. A lacuna has been created between demand and access. It is to this that the ministry is working to fill in this gap. Inadequate classrooms for secondary education contributed to a decline in the transition rate from junior high school to senior high school. For day students, the situation was worsened by the long distances and the cost of commuting from the houses to schools where they have been placed by the computerized selection and placement system. Not surprisingly, students coming from the poorest 20% of households in the most deprived district and rural areas are five to six times less likely to access senior high school education. In view of the prevailing challenges, President John Dramani Mahama promised a major policy thrust aimed at providing universal access to secondary education by 2016. The President promised the construction of community day senior high schools across the country with emphasis on districts where no such schools exist. The construction of these new schools are to provide the structural base to a progressively free senior high school education, to ease the financial burden of secondary education on parents while improving access. The Ministry of Education has also secured the collaboration of the World Bank who have approved $156 million under the Secondary Education Improvement Program. The board approved our largest single ever funding to the education sector in Ghana. We are pleased to see that government has in place much of the rigorous and detailed plans to start executing the activities that will help produce results that we all aspire to achieve. As part of the program, the World Bank is funding 23 of these new community day senior high schools, quality improvement in additional 125 existing senior high schools, and also providing funding to improve the facilities in 50 existing senior high schools and provide scholarships to 10,400 needy students. successfully initiated the construction of the first 123 community day senior high schools in all 10 regions with the president cutting the sword for the commencement at Nyanwa in the eastern region. Cho! 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 going to expand secondary education in this country and improve access to our children who finish basic schools so that we ensure that no child is left behind.
construction of these new schools are to provide the structural base to a progressively free senior high school education to ease the financial burden of secondary education on parents while improving access. There are so many children who don't have the opportunity to go for two main reasons, access and cost. And that is why more secondary schools are being built and why the progressively free secondary school strategy is being evolved. A manifesto promise being fulfilled for these community day schools have been completed and commissioned into use under the progressively free senior high school education program. The first of this community day school was inaugurated in a Confi Otuan on 15th September 2015. A very significant event we are commemorating today which involves the inauguration of the first completed community the secondary school here in Otuam. The newly opened Community Senior High School has been named after the late President John Evans at Mills to his honor for his passion in promoting education in Ghana. The block is a complete school. There are 24 classrooms. There are four laboratories, two libraries, and it has eight offices for departmental heads, an ICT laboratories, and an internet learning area. And then it has an office for the headmaster and an office for the staff. I have the honor and privilege to declare the Atta Mills Senior High School at Otuam duly inaugurated. And hence the launch of the Progressive Free Senior Secondary School Education. At the commissioning ceremony, the President John Dramani Mahama also announced the beginning of the implementation of the Progressively Free Senior High School program, starting with over 320,000 day students this 2015 and 2016 academic year. The second commitment we are redeeming today is the implementation of the Progressively Free Secondary Education in Ghana. Under the Progressively Free Secondary Education program, government intends to make going to secondary school free through a progressive absorption of the costs that are currently borne by students and their parents. We will eventually get to the stage where every senior high school student will have the opportunity to go to school free. The roadmap for the implementation of this constitutional provision as announced in my 2014 State of the Nation address is very much on course and is starting this academic year. For purposes of clarity, let me announce that the following fees for all day students in Ghana in all public senior high schools have all been absorbed by government. And these are examination fees, library fees, entertainment fees, SRC dues, science development fees, science and math quiz, sports, culture, ICT, and co-curricular fees. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the singular honor of declaring the progressively free senior high school program duly launched. I believe that this intervention will bring significant relief to parents and households, but it, would not, it does not eliminate the responsibility of parents in caring for their wards. I wish to challenge our chiefs and elders to support the effort of government by ensuring that children, especially girls, enroll in school, they stay in school and work hard in this school and come out with results that can push them further up the educational ladder.
we are aware of parents who can financially support their children and we urge them to continue to do so. And we are also aware of those who even go on to support other children. We want to express our gratitude for this very kind and important intervention. We are also aware of parents who wish to support their dependents but they are honestly unable to do so. This intervention is for them. Generally, the program focuses on easing cost barriers to facilitate access and participation for all prospective students. A second completed community day in a high school was also inaugurated on the 12th of October 2015 in Bamiyanko in the western region. A grateful community, the German embraced and celebrated the brand new German Senior High School and are thankful to President John Dramani Mahama and his government for the edifice. Preceding its official inauguration, an interdenominational service was observed by the community in thanksgiving and to commit the Senior High School to the guidance and protection of the Most High God. se program ba no e se ina e kon ko ye asarwo ho de ya be abro ko so ye nim se education fest o pe bibia education education fest na presa aya so de ye ni je ye ni je pa the second day school ababa mi an ko abejura mami dia ma me no ma ye wakaro bia da pese o de ne ba be ko second day school ma na ma so o so wonya an fa so wo ba ma wo asetena asesa President John Dramani Mahama joined the chiefs and people of the German community on Monday, 12 October 2015 to officially inaugurate the school into use under the progressively free senior high school program. The third completed Community Day Senior High School was also inaugurated on the 18th of November 2015 at Inquanta in the Volta region. We have just two secondary schools in this big district and even at the basic level, even in my school here, enrollment figures does not fall below 60. And you imagine the number of schools in the district, seven these two secondary schools, when you enter the secondary schools, they are all choked. So this new secondary school will be of great importance to the people in the community. If you see the statistics, you come to realize that there are a lot of children in our junior high schools who are not having the opportunity to go to school because of the limited access. You go to Bonache and you have 120 students in a classroom. So after the BC, where do they go? Everything is there. We have furniture. The library is there. Ready to take off. Students started coming in. We have at least 16 teachers awaiting their commissioning so that they will go and start work there. Uh, there is a headmaster, acting headmaster. So we are ready to take off. Another grateful community celebrated an edifice that represents 1,080 spaces for their children, whose fate would have been in a balance owing to inadequate space in existing senior high schools. Bayer and Fieldu Abbasin Koya, 
Emofano dudu nwa na omu kwa chrobi isi nwa omu cha susu ampara Na nsuba hea na ya na yu kwenye niho Enu nti na ama saa projecti Ama saa nsusie Aba abeda hwa yedi hu Eju ma Na mofano nko sku Momo ensu yande Momo ame ye mpenye mpa Emu kama Eye kama me Eye kama wa susu Afi ense computer placement nwa And your how can grab her? I just say, but any me, the post of my school, the other post school, the school no more simple anymore. I mean, now at number, and like I say, second school, why no? And also, it's like for any baby, they only be there since I come to be in that point. And they make us say, yeah, baby, school is here now. I go from there, I'll be passing there since. All can say. On that note, it is my honor and privilege to declare the Mpanta Community Day Secondary School formally open. Thank you. Recently, the fourth Community Day School was inaugurated into use at Kwaba Nyanwa, the Upper West Akim District in the Eastern Region. This is the fourth school I am commissioning. Currently, we have enrolled 970 students into the three community senior high schools that I inaugurated already. These students enrolled in these new schools include those who completed senior high school but have to stay at home because they do not get access to the existing senior secondary school. And so these community-based schools have come to open opportunity for children who would otherwise be, have been disadvantaged because there was no opportunity to continue in the schools that they had. The three schools currently in profession have provided direct employment for 160 teaching and non-teaching staff. And I wish to pledge that we will continue to work in the interest of the people of Ghana. I thank you all for coming with us. The President John Dramani Mahama and his administration are hopeful that the completion of these 200 community day senior high schools across the country by the end of 2016 will take off the pressure put on existing senior high schools due to the use of the computerized school selection and placement system. These schools of excellence will provide learning and enlightenment to hundreds of thousands of Ghanaian children. May God bless the excellent schools and may the children of Ghana benefit immensely from this intervention that has been undertaken. I thank you, may God bless us all and may God bless our homeland Ghana. The dream to have all children of school going age in classrooms having quality tutelage as espoused by Osaji for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is becoming a reality under President John Dramani Mahama. He continues his legacy of changing lives and transforming Ghana.